All right, hey guys. So we got done with our first ride. Um, had a lot of first initial thoughts about it and I don't really want to talk about it just yet. Instead, I'd rather hold off until I have done, I'm have i done driving for the entire day. So I'll probably split this up into a few videos as I'm gonna be doing nothing but driving over the next 24 hours. Um, but with that said, we, we got back from our first drive. It was, we probably spent about two hours out driving uh, with FSD beta, obviously. And then we came home, we took about a two hour nap, maybe two and a half hour nap. Uh, we got some nice iced coffees made by my fiance. She's in the back there. Um, and yeah, so now we're gonna go, we're hitting the road again, uh, this time with some experience under our belt. We're gonna go maybe the same places, maybe some new places, but we're gonna go and try to make it a, a realistic daily use of what FSD beta could be if it was a robo taxi. So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and start off this second ride before it gets dark and we do our EV ride. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's just see what happens. We got a truck right in front of me, I don't wanna hit it, but let's see what happens. I can see that I have it available here, so. Yeah, this, I don't trust it. <laughs> so let's just back up a little bit. All right. Now let's try it. After this car passes. Oh. There we go. Let's see. Good. Clear. And we're off. Cool. All right. This is a very dangerous. So that's a very dangerous um, intersection, just because there's a lot of accidents that happen there. So I'm always kind of hyper paranoid about it. Now it wants to take a right. Go ahead. Autopilot creeping forward. Alright. There's a, as the driver, like there's a lot of hesitation that you feel with the wheel, a lot of unsureness, maybe even jerkiness. And I don't know, it, based on my fiance, I'll let her talk in a second here, but based on what she was saying to me earlier when we were first driving, it seems to her that it doesn't feel weird or out of the ordinary, but when you're driving, you feel, and you feel the wheel in your hand, it's a little different. Right, so. Not really sure, okay? See, like that. That felt very sketchy to me, but I have the wheel in my hand, so I can feel like what it might do, what it might not do, but in the back, like, or in the passenger seat, or if you're taking an Uber, you don't know these things. You don't feel those things. You just trust that it's gonna do the right thing. And FSD Beta is doing the right thing, but when I, when I feel the wheel turning in a way that may not be the right thing, that's where my paranoia kicks in. So what do you think? What are your thoughts being back there, holding the camera and everything? That felt no different than if I was in an Uber to me, but I don't have the wheel in my hand. It, I trusted it and I, right now, I can't tell the difference between when you drive and when you have FSD beta on. That's good to hear. I can, I can feel everything obviously because I'm the driver. So like I feel the brake popping, I feel the steering wheel trying to go, I see feel it trying to creep. You know, it's a good creep. That's a great turn. Oh, that brake slam on. That was uh, kind of like that phantom brake that people talk about. And like that, that was a hard, unnecessary. Like it, we didn't have to brake that hard. I, I definitely think that some of it's. So, so the question is like, what's the goal? Is the goal to solve the problem, right? Or is your goal to try to make it feel natural and finesse? And I would say they are definitely solving the problem. Tesla's solving the problem. But as they solve the problem, that's when you'll work on the finesse and the feeling more human-like and smooth. So it's definitely what I would call a beta for sure. But it's doing the right things for the most part. 
And I think that's what you really have to hang your hat on. It's, and I haven't seen, like, this is my first time using FSD beta, so I don't have the privilege of having the knowledge of each iteration and to see where the progress has been. I just see this, this is all I have. Now, in future major releases, I'll definitely have access to FSD beta. So I'll be able to, you know, determine if I see a, a big change or not. But like, it's definitely, it's definitely doing the right things. It's just whether or not it feels human-like or not. And I think that, you know, maybe that doesn't matter. Maybe it doesn't have to feel human-like. So, just some thoughts there. So right now we're headed towards where we uh, play some beach volleyball. So we're gonna head to those courts, yellow light, FSD beta, smoothly making it, not in a rush, not signing up breaks or anything. So, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, we're heading over towards the volleyball courts. Uh, it's over by the water. So it's, it's a place we would normally go. So that's all I'm testing for. Can I go from one spot to the next on a normal day driving or normal place I would go? And as of right now, so far, so good. I will say something that testing FSD beta versus just always watching YouTube videos. In the YouTube videos, I don't think you really get the sense for the, people call it phantom braking, but essentially the braking without real necessity or just a hard braking. You don't really get the sense of it when you're watching it on, on YouTube, but being in it, you, you definitely feel and see what everybody's talking about. It's definitely real, it's definitely there. Um, it's not always like this is a perfect stop. I mean, that was a more perfect stop than what I could probably do. All right, this is a difficult intersection and we are handling it marvelously. People crossing the street. Look at, see that? There's a subtle brake, nice and easy, but other times it'll just slam on the brakes. Ooh. And just like that, for some reason, it went out of FSD beta. So now we're gonna go back into FSD beta. That's something else. I've never seen that happen to other people, but it's happening here to me, um, where every once in a while it'll just kick it out of FSD beta. So I'm not sure what leads, so it just did it again. So. So I'm not sure why it kicks it out of FSD beta. Again, I haven't hit on the accelerator. I haven't hit on the brakes once. Um, but for some reason it'll kick out of FSD beta and just go right into uh, autopilot actually. So, but still no disengagement, so, still no interventions, just putting it back in the FSD beta with the stock. That's all I've done so far. Also, I will say, um, it definitely is a lot, it's a lot more peaceful driving with FSD beta, even you know though it's not perfect and even though I'm, definitely hypersensitive about certain you know points in the drive it's definitely more relaxing to drive with it um as far as the the annoyances of, of the hand hand pressure and all that stuff it's really not a big deal at all all right we got a turn here all right ooh, ooh. Yeah, see, that's some of the uns unsureness. Like, did that feel weird to you in the back? Yeah. That felt weird? Okay. It was like, um, just a little bit of an added swivel that didn't feel necessary. Yeah. Like, they were, it was trying to avoid something that yeah. doesn't exist. So this is a hard one to see. We're good on the right, and we're good on the left. But where are we going? See, it stopped there for no reason. Like, does that matter in the big scheme of things? Because we're about to get to our destination. No, in the big scheme of things, it, it doesn't matter. Um, but but it's not, quote unquote, right. And it's not the best feeling. All right, 